Crikey, mate! What a little beauty! We just love Bougainvillea, guys. So today in this video, we're going to share with you our top 6 Bougainvillea collection. Stay tuned. Be right back. Namaste, marhaban, salam. Hello, happy YouTubers. Welcome to our channel, Cashew Greens. This is Marcelina showing you another video, the Bougainvillea collection. There are over 300 varieties of Bougainvilleas, but we collected the top six Bougainvilleas, and we're going to share these varieties with you in this video. Maybe you fall in love with them. But before we continue, if this is the first time you discover our channel, consider to subscribe below. Give this video a lot of thumbs up. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for notification to be notified of each one of our newest videos as soon as they are posted. Let's dive in and we will see you in the next clip. Bougainvillea is one most memorable flower because when you see it, you remember right away. When I saw this Bougainvillea in our local nursery, my first expression was, Oh my gosh, I knew this flower. This is Bougainvillea. We grew this in the Philippines. That was then we started collecting Bougainvilleas. There are over 300 varieties of Bougainvilleas, but we selected the top six varieties and we're going to share this with you in this video. Now, the more intense of the color of the bracts, is the best this is the bracts this is not the flowers bracts are modified leaves where the reproductive structure such as the flower is inside the bracts so this is the actual flower here hopefully you can see it so this is the actual flower now the intense color is going to signal the pollinator right hey come over here we have flower inside pollinate us so the pollinator gets in and pollinate the flower so we're going to show you a video clips of the Bougainvillea varieties. So stay with us until the end. Maestro, show our Bougainvillea collection. All right, guys, enjoy. Grab a cup of coffee, relax, and we'll see you before the closing. So we have these little seedlings of Bougainvillea. This is the raspberry eyes. Look at that, it's so beautiful. The foliage is white and green. It's awesome. And since it is grown in a small container, we are going to transfer this in a larger container so this plant can grow bigger. When we collect flower, we always uh, look at the color of the foliage, the characteristic of the leaves, and also we look at the flower so the more intense of the bracts is the best and we collected the bougainvillea that it has a striking colors between the bracts and then the foliage so this is just a, a basic bougainvillea but even though it is simple bougainvillea i would say but it's still beautiful look at the flower so let's go ahead and transfer our plant we use the happy frog, but thank you for the owner of the greenhouse, Janet. She uh, gave us a few bags of these microgreens to try. And so far, we love it. And it is really good in germinating seeds and also if you do propagation by cuttings. This is the best soilist media. So this is the microgreens. Uh, that I show it to you so well so well is and as you can see look at look at look at the texture it's beautiful and this is great if you germinate seeds not only just germinating seeds you can also uh, uh, do this in a young seedlings when you transfer them so we're going to transfer our raspberry eyes so I'm going to transfer my bougainvillea in this 
one gallon container and uh, I use this container so if you guys use container that it's been used you need to disinfect you can rinse it or you can just spray with alcohol so I'm going to spray this with alcohol So fill half of soil in the container. With a worm casting. Put on the top layer of the soil. Remove the bougainvillea. A little bit uh, fruit bound here just loosen a little bit the end and then place in the container hey G baby G is that the popo yeah pa I think they're looking for people who have subscribed to cash of greens you mean it's illegal not to subscribe? Yep, the governor said there are four things everyone must do during the COVID pandemic. Like what? One, wear a mask. Uh-huh. Two, distancing. Yeah. Three, wash hands. Mm-hmm. And four, subscribe to Cast Your Green. For real? Yep. Oh, man! To prevent air pocketing. So since this soil is wet, so I'm not going to water this plant. So I will label this plant so I know what variety and just place like that. Now, if you guys want to see uh, other video on bougainvillea, we had a video on how to grow bougainvillea and also how to propagate bougainvillea. So you might uh, consider watching that video. So when you fertilize your bougainvillea, you can use the uh, iron knife. This is the one that I use here in my garden. This is a slow release fertilizer or you can use this type. This is the water soluble food 20 20 20. Now, when you fertilize, you fertilize using this soluble, use only uh, once every two weeks. If you use uh, your night, this is uh, would last for six months, so you can fertilize once in six months. Bougainvillea loves full sun and loves heat. So place your bougainvillea uh, in areas where it gets most of the sun. And in summertime, if you grow in container, make sure you water more often because the soil media can easily dry out. During winter time, if you live in subtropical region, because this plant is tropical, if you live in subtropical region, you grow in container and then bring inside your home or inside your greenhouse during winter month. Bougainvillea is zone 10 and 11 so it doesn't uh, tolerate cold temperature. This is our video for today. Out of six varieties of bougainvilleas, which bougainvillea is your number one best choice? Write your comments below this video. Thank you for watching. This is Marceline at Cashew Greens. See you next week. Peace out, YouTubers!